In this how-to video, we'll cover the basics of wiring and setting up one of Automation Direct's contrast sensors from the brand DataLogic. I'm currently using model number TL46-WL. These DataLogic contrast sensors we sell at Automation Direct all require a connecting cable. Make sure you select the correct cable with correct number of pins in either a straight or a 90 degree connector. The sensor I'm using requires a 5 pin 12 millimeter connector cable. I'm using the part number listed on the screen. The documentation for the sensors state that the center wire will be gray color. However, our sensor cables with 5 pins have a yellow and green wire for the center pin. If you have questions, use a multimeter and check the pin out or call our free technical support here at Automation Direct. I follow the wiring diagram for this sensor. It can be found in the documentation that comes with the sensor or you can find it on our website. I connect brown to 24 volts positive, blue to zero volts or negative, and the black wire to the input of my PLC X2. I have this setup wired NPN or positive voltage to the common of the PLC. When the sensor detects a target, it sends a negative signal to the PLC and triggers the input X2. We can change the output of the sensor by following the instructions. First, we must unlock the keypad by pressing and holding the set button for five seconds. The unlock LED will turn on allowing us to make changes. Now we can press the positive and negative button simultaneously for 10 seconds. At two seconds, the delay LED turns on and we continue to hold until 10 seconds. The delay LED turns off, we release the positive and negative buttons and we see the ready and lock LEDs cycle. Now our sensor can be wired with a negative voltage to the common. To change back to the original settings, we do the same. Press both positive and negative buttons simultaneously for 10 seconds until the delay LED turns off, we release and the ready and lock LED cycle. Now that the sensor is wired and set up for NPN, let's set up our target. I have a print sheet with tick marks for an example. In this example, we set up the sensor to read the black tick marks as the target and the white sheet as the background. In other how-to videos, I show how the target and background can be reversed. To set the target, I adjust the sensor over the tick mark and press the set button, either on the sensor or if I have a remote wired connected. I trigger it with a push button or some other input. When the sensor captures the target, all LEDs will be off. Now I'll move the target so the background can be set. I press the button again and the green LED will blink and when ready, the green LED stays illuminated. As you can see, I can now detect the tick marks on this sheet. Simple enough to set up, right? A delay can be set in the sensor to allow the detecting device, in our case the PLC input, to see the detection pulse in the event the pulses are too short to detect. The sensor will allow the pulse to extend to 20 milliseconds. Now let's set up our delay setting as covered in the instruction manual. First, we must again unlock the keypad by pressing and holding the set button for five seconds. I press the positive and negative buttons simultaneously for two seconds until the delay LED turns on as shown. We sense the same tick marks and we notice that the signal is much slower. To deactivate the delay, we do the same. Press both positive and negative buttons simultaneously for two seconds until the delay LED turns off, as shown. 